blah, 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 blah. Hello, and welcome back to the Intro Dimensional Show live at the Red Mrs. Ermine Theatre. How are you all doing today? I'm doing well. My head hurts a little bit, but regardless, I am doing well. Today we will be playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. A game that I've had my eye on for quite a while now. It used to be a DS exclusive. It came to PC not long ago. And it was on, and I was able to go on sale on, on, on Fanatical, and it was on sale, so I sp bought it, and two extra games that were free, were not free, they did cost money, but not as much. They did cost money, but not as much as this one, and they were both unknown games, so I kind of regret doing that. Not this game, I don't regret this game, this game is an interesting one, came out about... 13 or so years ago I think back on the D Nintendo DS and it's a pretty interesting game you are a ghost obviously that's the big thing here I'm going to try my best to once I finish the game at a good or once I finish the stream at a good time I'm going to try my best to go to bed at a good time I need to stop staying up too late because my head's hurting now right now it's primarily it's probably due to my lack of sleep I did not go to sleep at a good time last night and in doing so you lose productivity and stuff like that which is a big thing for me I want to be able to make things there are some stuff that I want to start making One of those things being my mo I want to finish up my model, my feet to my model. I want to finish that up. But also, I have another set of drawings that I need to do that I plan to use when making TikToks or YouTube shorts. And maybe regular videos too. <laughs> so yeah i'm going to make sure to do that then but anyways let's get to the game let me get my headphones on hopefully i don't have a headache anymore but we'll see audio is pretty good let's jump in this is ghost trick phantom detective let's start the new game it's an older game so it's pretty obvious that You'd have issues like this. Or not issues, but it looks like this. That's why this is a thing. Because this game originally was on the DS. It must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I've just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. <coughs> this has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? I love the art style. So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this, <coughs> there, this is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who could save her. What, what the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. Uh, voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. <coughs> I know you could do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright spot nearby? 
That's a core. A core? Hmm. Just looks like a railway truck. <coughs> okay, that's gonna be annoying. I need to get cough drop. Just look like a cro railway crossing to me. Look, the best way to understand is just to try it. Is to just try it. The First of all, try moving your solo with W A W D S. Next, move your solo across to connect with the core. <laughs> there we go. Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. Uh, so, what? N now I'm a crossing gate? Ahem. Now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen when the man pulls the trigger. The woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. H hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. There we go. <laughs> Hold it. Well played. Well played. Hold on. What's the... Well played. Huh? What just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is press E. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yes. Hmm. That's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I entered the ghost world with a ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. I see a guitar, then, is it? Mm hmm, ahem. Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball that would have solved the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess it can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's see t at time and motion again and find out. <laughs> Who's there? Hold it! Uh, that's gotta be some kind of slow- the slowest runaway I've ever seen. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with- with something more. <laughs> Let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is is... me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead, and possess your corpse. Alright, now we set time in motion. It's not working. Huh? Nothing's happening! Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've got to be kidding me! Wait, what about that woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's easy here. Give it a try. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Damn. Oh, fuck. We failed. Out of my way. 
I love that gun for some reason. We pause for a minute. I want to check something. Hello, Twin Blade. Welcome back to the Intro Lab. It's your show by the Lord and Mrs. Irma Theater. How are you doing today? I'm sorry, I'm like I'm later than I normally am. I'm normally late either way, but I'm sorry for being late. I am. Um, I had a headache, so I had to rest beforehand. Anyways, hello! Ah. Uh, it's not muted. It's not muted. Oh, okay, you. you joker. I'm actually checking something. Believe that. Blah, 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 blah. The okay, audio still sounds good. <laughs> okay, update the damn Twitch app phone. We're playing Ghost Trick, a game about ghosts and tricks and detectives. <laughs> I could play this lot with a cons with controller, but uh, whatever. It's done. I'm on my way. What? I don't... I don't remember the full context of the story. I do know some stuff about the spirits. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. Uh, so what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... What? Hello there! How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy of what happened tonight. Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. Poor girl. <laughs> she still ended up just as dead as before. That's true, for now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. How are you doing anyway, by the way? <coughs> Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? Ah, good for you. But what can I do? He's already dead. <coughs> time for more ghost- Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you an about another one of your powers. Alright. <laughs> Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his investigate. the I'll take the desk lamp up on his inv invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave, wo uh, leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point, because I'm already dead. Trick time! G. That thought bubble you just pressed, those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head? My thoughts, eh? Why am I Canadian all of a sudden? So the dead don't have voices, and what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. Q is your ticket in. The best thing to do is try it. Q, eh? Guess I'll press it. I press it. He 
How many times is he going to say A? Nothing's wrong with being Canadian, but still. <coughs> okay, so I can't go that way. <coughs> By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of the screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is here, is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of living. Oh, okay. This time, C is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. I'm counting on you. Huh? Who's this we? Oh, okay. I see now. Huh? That's funny. What is... <coughs> My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. <laughs> That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who, die, bleh, who dies gets special powers, you know? So those ways are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway... Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power! What else? Uh, another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. <laughs> However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try and see? Trick time, baby! <coughs> What's this? <coughs> Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, it looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to... When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past, to a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. <coughs> it only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day, and she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy. None of it makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. Hehe. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. <coughs> Rewind time, baby. I love the look of this game. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. So now, <coughs> and I believe we can do this more than once, maybe. Oh, hi. Uh, wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no. He's dead. She's ver she is very pretty. Who are you? I need to get some water in a second. <coughs> here, here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fight. You ought to be more concerned about your own fight. Uh, who are you? Some sort of hitman? 
What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last taste of Tim Sick left in this country. T uh, Tim Sick? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you got nowhere. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> as long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. I love that golden. I love so long sister. Okay. So now we're at this point. Hold it. Who's there? Hold it. Okay. Now the stream elements is working. Why did it take so long? A shotgun kind of a fancy weapon for a hitman. Don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jigo, Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. <laughs> uh, was I supposed to do something? And there you have it. The last four minutes of her life. N no no it's kind of ironic don't you think when you think about it a woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost but she still died yes and you can change that with your ghost tricks just like you did four minutes ago possess and manipulate eh? ghost and then trick and you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like too now then are you ready yeah let's do it Oh boy. So this is four, uh, wrong character. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past after all. So naturally your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I did it now. <laughs> Hop in then. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You had better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Who are you? No, who are you? <laughs> time is passing. <coughs> Last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right. Have a look at the right side of the screen. The right side, eh? The sand in the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Okay, I don't need to read all that again. <laughs> I know time is passing. Shut the fuck up. Uh-oh, her time is running out. Are you kidding? Wrong timing. Hold on, how do I do this? Oh, maybe I gotta do it quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. What? Hold on. Do I got do I have something wrong? <coughs> I 
fuck went the wrong way Okay, let's see if I can get <coughs> figure something out here. Hold on. I got time. <coughs> okay, so that is the only thing I can think of. Unless no oh hold on come on hurry up there we go <laughs> so long sister there's a few more steps hope i make it in time Okay, I'm, I can do something now. Now's your chance. Change your fate. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. Wait, what? Time is almost up. Hell yeah. <coughs> Damn it. What's going on here? Near sighted Jago never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. It looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Awesome. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I love the art de art design here. The bridge is up! You hear something? Hold on. Here we go. Okay, thank goodness. <clears throat> she survived, or at least I hope. What about the bike? How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You must, cert you must certainly did. And I knew you could do it. Fate averted, bitch! So I lost my life tonight and saved someone else, somebody else's life. <coughs> awesome. I, I figured out how to save her. I can't remember her name. When I came back to the present, it was raining. <coughs> I had saved the life of this stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain 
Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. <laughs> a chew! Oh, that was a... What? A stranger. <clears throat> that word strikes a chord. And a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? Who is the... What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed? <clears throat> Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet e either, actually. Uh, I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us. Hello, Blobs! Welcome back to the Air Tour Dimensional Show Live at the Ramon Theater. How are you doing today? You can be higher. <laughs> ah. Some of us get top memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Di dis oh, wait, I did it wrong. Disappear! When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. Wh what? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute, these powers of the dead. Yes. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. We could use ghost tricks to save ourselves. Wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact cannot can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death. <clears throat> In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate. Right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You want to be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death as well? You should. That's what you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. <coughs> the person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Uh, hey, you're right! And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight, in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Have you been playing anything recently, Blops? <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep rec keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press X to view a record of what you've learned. And be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Updated the phone book. Alright then, I wish you good luck. I think the audio bugged for a minute. Hold on. Kit. Ah. I haven't touched that game in a while. I might Friday, but we'll see. I've heard some issues have occurred in the game, so I don't know. So this is the character we are right now, or at least that's what we assume at the start. 
And this is the redhead woman. Redheaded target. I really love the design. And here's Ray. And this is the hunter that we actually killed. Funnily. <laughs> I better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. That's kind of what I'm trying to do, but I don't have a... <laughs> Perfect for drain. Uh, what in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started to ra raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Uh, oh my god, hold on. I'm a I'm just going to leave it on borderless. <laughs> it doesn't need to be on. It doesn't really make a difference. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. You do not, darling. At least she's bringing me with her. Okay. Hmm. Looks like she's saying something to herself, but unfortunately I can't hear it from here. That's no problem for ghosts like us as long as your target's not too far away. Just like you do with your own thought bubbles. If you tap the thought bubbles of the living, you can listen in on what they're saying. Maybe I'll just take a little listen then. Always watch for the thought bubbles of the living. They might give you some important clues. But seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it then? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly. Hmm, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your chain of thoughts, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in around that this time too? Oh, yeah! I remember this, yeah. It's done. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. That telephone call exactly in other words at this very moment on the end on the end of the telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder what i recommend you possess the telephone once you've done that i'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks all right and then i saw him right there on the other end of the line i saw the face of the man who ordered me dead Oh, it's this bastard. Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Uh, who is this? Mm, yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. 
I must have died the wrong number. <laughs> <clears throat> Trace complete. So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We girls exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can do to help you. You have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. And I had to come to ask for your help. My help? My myster Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth you're the only one who can do it i want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth i'm grateful to you for everything you've done but i can't promise i'll help tomorrow morning i cease to exist it doesn't give me a whole lot of time i need to pursue my own mystery find out the truth about myself that's more than enough huh you succeed in doing that you'll have one done what i asked anyways the two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. This death slap knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from what we'll call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all rest is all the the rest is all up to you. Junkyard. SYS seven. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Forgot how creative this game was. I I've seen bits from it, but so but I don't rem I don't think I ever got to play it properly. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story will la that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Obtained a new illustration. View in the... Okay, got it. Yes. Yes. I don't know why this game feels like it's going to be pretty short compared to others. That might be the same thing with another game that I have. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had been killed. Our meeting, it's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Um, yes, if, I, if what I read in this file is true. This woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jago. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, so oh shit. <laughs> um yes, but I say the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. And even if it was only over the telef was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. Fwahaha! Fwahaha! What is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I'd never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has, maybe it'll give me some information on the, my redhead. Why do we say mine? Oh well. Um, yes, how much longer, my good man? We're charging up our backup power. You're charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. 
Mm, yes. But confound that Jago, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in this envelope instead, sir? <coughs> Seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lin, is no longer a threat, sir. Bah! That's not what I'm talking about, man! Hmm? Lin, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file, it's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? That was cool. <laughs> that was wicked. <clears throat> you have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I have learned I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? <clears throat> Egad man, Egad man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah! Granted! Technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off. Confound it! Mm, yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of the current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, I might suggest- Might I suggest this, sir? Oh, hello there. <laughs> hey, that's... Hmm, yes, Sizzle. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sizzle. No, we must be very careful. Sizzle. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that all be all about? A boot. All a boot. Just wonder, just what exactly was I up to, I wonder. <clears throat> Why do you slap it? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. She's throwing back. Mm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. Ha ha ha. I'm going to have to get some water. One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Where is your head, man? I told you I don't want to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man. Unless you want me to want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. <laughs> These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other?
Hold on, I can... Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip this situation around. So the only way thing I can do at the moment is this. Okay, there's the, there we go. Where is your head, man? I told you I don't want to see this face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, damn it. <coughs> oh, no, no, I got it. He's got... I got it. But first... I see. This room is giving me the heebie-jeebies. My good man. What paintings spinning around and the like? It's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room is just completely read recently, sir. We are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Mm, yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? He's been eating those a lot. Here you go. <laughs> Aha! It's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even be, when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. He can't. He can't, man. It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What, Lynn? Hmm. Yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tingo to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lynn is in danger again. This is one step ahead Tingo. Uh, Tingu, Tingo, T Tingo. I'm at the Target's apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands the reason. If the Target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? Bah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it! You're even hanging up one step ahead. Trace complete. I'm gonna grab myself some water. I really love this new setup I have. It's definitely better than my old one, especially with how I don't have to worry about the cord to the XLR cable anymore. <laughs> it's in the um, the boom arm, and it keeps it from being annoying and they're in a, in the way. And also, my headphones, the cord for that is still coming. I got to I drink enough water Because if I don't I won't My blood work won't go well But yeah, I got blood work on Wednesday And a checkup uh, There's one thing in that checkup That I hope helps Or I hope, hope tells me something Well, I want the blood work to go well regardless I've been eating a lot better than I did before, so, and I'm hoping I've lost some weight. I'm really hoping. <laughs> what did he say, sir? He 
asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of Nia Sider Diego's play. Hey, Lynn, can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. We're off to Lynn's place. Wait, he didn't shoot the dog, did he? Oh no, the dog's still moving. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't home yet, here yet, but unfortunately the hitman is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. At least it didn't really mess anything up. There are a couple of their own fortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh! Hmm? Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. What? I think I remember them. And even an unluckier little doggy. The poor brave little boy. Not a bad thing to say. We love our dogs. I do. I love my dog to pieces. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, I have to do something about the situation fast. That new started Jago is really losing his touch. Looks like the title of the head of a hitman division will soon be mine. A pro never takes his eyes off his prey. That's the secret to get promoted. What is this fool mumbling about? Sitting there stuffing his face with donuts. Never mind that. I better rescue that poor little lady. That poor little doggy too, of course. Oh, huh? where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Huh? Are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anyone else? Want anybody else around here? I remember right, the dead don't have the voices. Their thoughts reach each other, reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. Whoa, hi, Ryder. Hey, what's going on? Just playing a game where you're a ghost doing tricks. Ghost? Quick? Your idea is being a little weird. What's that? Can you speak up? I'm not wearing any pants. Okay. I guess that explains why this dog was talking to me right now. How are you doing, by the way? I'm doing fine. I have myself some absinthe peppermint hot chocolate. Interesting. I probably go just hot chocolate, white chocolate, hot chocolate. That's where I would go down. I love me some white chocolate. Egg and eight, try and white chocolate sometime. Mm. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are. Presumably the little doggy who died here. What? Wait, so the dog is dead? I thought the dog was alive. I hope, uh, I guess we'll find out. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they looked like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose. Oh, that's so cute. That's it's such a cute, cute little dog. It's a dog, it's such a cute doggy. Miss Camilla, my Miss Camilla is in trouble. You mean you remember? You know who you are? I can't remember anything. That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. I well. was dubbed. What? 
I hit a bit and I freaking stumbled on it. Okay. It happens. There's another Apologies. game that I will probably play in an, another day, but it's called Muramasa Blade. I got it. I figured out how to properly mm -hmm. play it on uh, the Dolphin emulator. Oh. So one point. I'll have to try that out in, on Wednesday, maybe. What am I? What did I say I was playing? Ghost. Oh. Oh. Okay, got it. I'm trying to remember something. I was gonna say freaking. My mother named me after the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh. That's geez. why I named missile. Oh my. But. Oh jeez, you were saying. <coughs> ah, damn it. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I don't want to spoil too much of the game yet myself. I already know some details about certain aspects of the game, but I'm not going to say it till later. I don't know how long the game is. It's supposed to be only a few hours in game world. I guess I, now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this, to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? Ah! Sir, you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. This time to save his this time to save this his life. That's some that's got to be some uh uh translation error. <laughs> Cause this name was Japanese first. I'm pretty sure. Rewind time. This is a game where you can save certain people. And animals from death before it happens but only four minutes and they have to be a recent death too let's see first of all I'd better see what I can find out about your death little guy excuse me but where exactly are we how did you get with me come with me uh you followed me I followed you you brought me with you one or the other hmm looks like the dead can move around together this is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're gonna save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk back through, through, backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Do you think dogs actually think like this, Ryder? I sure hope so. Why? I don't know. Because freaking cute as shit. Mm hmm. Yo. Yeah. Melt your heartstrings. Mm hmm. Because mm. freaking cute when dogs go into no thought head empty mode. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's get started. Okay, first, we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard, so we had to watch the dog's death, sadly. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Oh yeah, there's a little girl, too. We wind up helping her. I love the art style in this game. Me too. It's very... In so very familiar. Why does the dog have so many ta Oh no, it's just wh wagging. Get that mud up! What'd you say it, it looks like to you? Lion art looks very distinctly familiar. I could see it too. What do we you go think on? I'm gonna... you of? 
some versions of a game that Henry plays. Hmm. And maybe a little bit of uh, Higara some old Higarashi style. Mm. I'll hold on. Let me if I can spell the right word. That'd be great. I'm gonna look like up who designed it. Yeah, that's the that's that's what he plays most of the time. Almost okay, looks a little see. like WarioWare. It might have there. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> This is on PS4, by the way. Oh, I know. So have you ever thought about playing it? Okay. Top scrolling okay. around the story. Ah. Oh, hold on. The director behind the game is also the director of Ace Attorney. So there's that, but that's not um, art style connected. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Would you like for okay. me to do other voices? Or other no, characters? You, <laughs> you can if you want. Um, let me... I can't find the right... I can't find anything on what else it could be because it's definitely got something similar to another style I've seen maybe not maybe it wasn't Toho I'm thinking of maybe it was the the there's a, a game series that kind of got combined with another game series called uh, Tetris something something Tetris was the name of the game Boy, Boy, I Tetris yeah, I, I could so, sort of see a little bit of that, but this the art style in this one is a bit more, is a bit less chibi-ish. Similar line art, though. Mm, okay. I think I'm ready. We're going to be getting to the phone part soon. Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is trappier than ever tonight. Ah! How yeah, about you can say those if you want? I know that's already kind of passed, but maybe you can maybe you can take over for the voice of the bad guy when he comes. I... You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Ah, uh, why do you all like to bark so much, anyways? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. That's not going to make a difference, either. My headphones. <laughs> no! Okay. Well, that was close. Do Pomeranians typically have a sort of thick, furry chest? Yep. I've never actually seen a problem. Well, though, I think I've seen one outside of that way. Well, well now get this wall down. There he is. Oh no, Lupin the third. I don't really like it when chops outside the original scout crop up. I'll have to put it down as a separate charge. The cutscene never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Um. Hey. I always eat at the wrong time. <laughs> oh, I ah. hate that. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes ago before you died. 
He, you actually see the death of a dog. Well, it kind of flashes before you actually see it, and it, there's no blood. So, even the death of the uh, this that one guy who came in and did the shooting. There's another. Um, he's not the only one that's been in the game. There is another that looks basically the same, just with different, without glasses. He gets referenced in this as well. Near, his name was Nearsighted Jigo. Mm. Um, but yeah. Wow, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. Let's see, how were we going to do this? Seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a, a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing that we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she can do that. Did you notice they're putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore. Is that what they're doing when they bark at us? Calling our name? I'm not sure. Don't, uh, haven't you mentioned you have a dog? Yeah, I have three. Or, uh, I have and one they here. Bark incessantly. My, my, the one you've seen, I've taken pictures and put it on the Discord multiple times. <laughs> Um, oh, but, was it the uh, smoke one? Smoke, smoky, smoky yeah. one. He is always barking. He got a haircut today. Um, it oh. looks good. Oh my gosh! The distinguished man get a haircut. Mhm. Mm but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Maybe that's how my dog feels about my headphones. <laughs> Cause I'm. Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now that we know we have to do something about it. All right, time for power. Time to use our ghost tricks. And we are limited on time, by the way. You got like five minutes, four minutes. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Oh, hold on, no. Oh, so close! You almost knocked those red things down! Hey, I think you're onto something there. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get scolding from Miss Lynn! Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I believe, from what I remember, Lynn, Lynn is not the, a relative to Camilla. But they are connected, I think, Lynn basically adopted her to an extent. I think Lynn's Camilla's kid, parents aren't around anymore. So that's why this mm. apartment it's said to be Lynn's, but it's actually both them. All I have to do is pretend oh, it was I your see. fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you've always obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. That's funny. What's wrong? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. Hmm. Looks like I can't use the telephone lines in the four minute before death world. Okay. I didn't know we were given that info. Well, can't really change the little lady's seat by just standing around and watching. That intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. My ghost tricks can only get me so far. I want to say the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. And the first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Okay. So let's see. Okay, that did something. I don't know if no, that I did what I... I think had to, like, time it. Yeah, yeah. That might be it. I gotta figure out... Maybe... Okay. Okay, I think I get it. I have to time that for when... Oh, so... Hold on. I already got that one. Come on, skip, skip, skip. Okay, I think... <laughs> He's gonna come for the headphones in a little bit.
Okay, let's see. Boom. Oh, Ooh, I messed up. I, I, I did the wrong time. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on. Oh, shit. Ah, I think I fucked up. Okay. Thankfully, we can do this. I didn't know we could at first, actually. There's no way to speed this up, so... I don't wish was there to... Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Maybe... Let me check something. <laughs> Dang, this no, music nothing. kind of reminds me a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh for DS. Maybe. I need to check. What does this mean? I still don't, I don't really see the difference between the arranged and the other. Maybe arranged is a bit more upbeat. Whoa, I didn't. I gotta. I, I didn't know that at first. Maybe the door is meant for something else later in the road. Hmm. But you gotta think like a detective. Yep. And in the initial scene, you gotta remember what changed and how it can be used. Ah! Headphones fell for a moment. Oh no. Hopefully you don't have They're a good. fish tank anywhere nearby. <laughs> uh, I didn't think about that. Okay, let's see. Maybe I have to do it when she drops it. There we go. <laughs> Yay. Oh, no, darn. How did I manage to do that? They just bought those headphones too. How about if we tell you? Ah. Poor missile. Pointy part of a pointy part of my chip hurt my hand for some reason. Oh. Hmm. What you? What were you about to say before I interrupted? Just remarking about how funny it was for her to mention to blame it on missile beforehand. Yeah, that was or uh, after hand. Yeah. How about we, if we tell her you did it, Missile? Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Fate change. We still have, we still have more to do. We're not done. I'm in for donuts tonight. Let's see. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Volia had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Hmm, doesn't seem like you can stop the hitman from coming in. So in that case, oh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of an idea a little dog you would come up with. It really does. Or rather the dog running after the person. I don't think my dog would I hide. He would, he would run after the person. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I have just the place. Well, there's a little problem. How to get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, that, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her here. There. Now, what can I do using the objects in this room? 
I think I'll try out various things to see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching. Cheer you on. Okay, so I can do this now. Maybe, Let's see. Maybe the donut. Okay, that's a ahead of time. And now I can Missile, if you bark like that, you immediately want to start howling. If you keep this up, that wall gonna come down on our heads before we know it. Maybe maybe at the end of this part we actually beat the guy but with the lady getting mad at us. That'd be interesting. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will! That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. Poor little guys up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. The man behind the slaughter. Man behind the slaughter. I always give your mistress so much trouble. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior, but when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in, all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm. Might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Wherever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be a bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. That's actually not a bad idea. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. You part like that? How could anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking too. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. I feel like that's definitely a thing a dog would do. Okay, I can't go any further. So uh, let's... Where'd the donuts go? Okay, I think... Huh? Huh? I can't make another donut fall out. Hmm, what do we do now? Without the donut, the squeaky guy won't come back and I won't bark. Was that the only... Only one donut will fall. The donut's only bait, but we can. Uh, maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. Okay, so I might have to restart this. Or at least, kind of. Yeah, after the bait change might be a better bet. I gotta make sure not to use up the donut. Maybe shove it out. Shove it over beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> that donut has some <laughs> balance on it. A bowl doesn't have much structural integrity. Mm hmm. Oh, it's a pink one. A pink mouse. Took her a moment to realize. On. Wait. Oh, I get it now. Hmm. Let's see. Can I do something with this? I guess not. It's not yet.
Hmm. What is that up on the roof? I don't have a way to get it. Hmm. I think it's a sprinkler system. Maybe. I, I don't think I have, I don't think I did it in the right order. Hmm. Oh, wrong thing. Let's go back one more time. Go back another time. I will definitely need to take the, uh, this the other way. I can't get up there. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I got an idea. At least it might not work. Though I don't think I have a time. I don't think I have enough time there. Thankfully, we can restart as many times as we need, so we're good there. <laughs> hey, sit, I think flying. I like to tidy up shoving by shoving eye sores under the sofa. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! How come you're looking at me like when you say that? Hey, wait a minute! Under the sofa? That might be a spot a hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Cabilla climbs under the sofa all the time. Are you me? You're not a little dog, you aren't you? My new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. Well, the problem now is how do I lead her under there? Okay, so that's already figured out. Wait, I can rotate this faster? Oh, that's how I do it. Something just fell and quite hmm. dramatically too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it, it was doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add a number of ghosts around here. I know I could do that at first. I didn't know I could do that. Hmm. you not see the box that's what i'm trying to figure out no me are you thinking when you bark like that well let's see a time there if i had to put my feelings into words i'd say they were welcome i guess it's about sums it up i guess it's kind of feeling i'll never quite understand hmm okay there's not really a point of going back up there <laughs> and at least right now. Okay, let's give it a shot to with the donut now. Let's see what happens. This, oh, good. Uh, oh, I'm glad I did that. How 
how easy she was able to get under there she is really small probably was here to practice mix of that too i wonder i don't know how, i think she's probably not even a teenager i don't know what are you still doing under the here you silly boy oh my little missile you always do the cutest things there we go you can do this one now nobody's here <laughs> My parents bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. There! A little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. But look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it. We did we. But to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the soap, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh, thank you. Be diverted. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too after all. I guess that's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. What do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing, really. Isn't that like... has been erased. I'm sorry, what? Isn't that like saying not every cow gets to produce milk? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I would. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? <sighs> yeah, maybe if you die again. What do you what you did for me tonight? I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. <sighs> so now we're going back to the present. That was an interesting little thing though. I really do love that this concept. And now a new present has been is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Little dog is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard? Alright, got it. I'm on my way. Oh, still at the junkyard. I guess my pride likes to play hard and seek. She hasn't had enough of the junk yard yet, apparently. I can't let Nearside of Jigo have beaten me out of this one. Nearside of Jigo is already dead, by the way. Uh, mm. it, we actually killed him. Or something like that. I'll bet you hurry. That is the weirdest gun to be using right up close to someone. Probably wouldn't mean did a nearsighted Jigo use a uh He used shotgun? the shotgun. He used the shotgun. Oh. Like a golden shotgun. What was that all about? I didn't even know that. You saved me, didn't you? Missile. I just know you did. I mean, this assassin must have been farsighted. I, it's possible. I don't know. I forget what they called him. Lynn! Trick time. Oh boy, what tricks we gotta do now? Well, we just gotta get to the hut. We just gotta get to the, uh... Um... 
fine, but what's what the court? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Deathslam taught me. So what would a living and breathing donkey do be doing with a core? Better try possessing him and see. <laughs> oh, it's you, it's you! It's, um, come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we went, we shared together, the drama, that terrible goodbye. I'm Missile! I'm Johnny Test. Uh, speaking of Johnny Test, there was a game that had him or some animation or something that had the voice, the actor who, oh yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. In the dark, in the, you've watched me play the game before. I just recently started over on it again because I wanted to get better with stuff. I want to do more side quests ahead of time than afterwards. Um, Neopets yeah. Darkest Fairy, the voice of Johnny Test is one of the characters in that. Really? Do you, I don't remember. There was a uh, knight guy with a beard and long hair that helps you at the beginning of the game when you loot, when you get your package stolen. If I could find him again, I'll show you, but I don't remember for sure. I wonder why you remembered me now that you're live again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Maybe dogs are a bit different than humans. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. Okay. Um, nope. Cancel. Alrighty. What else is there? The uh, deal is... A call from Lynn, eh? Better go possess... Uh, this is where we, we can naturally listen to the phone. Ooh. And... Camilla! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. But, well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You've got to get out of there right now. But what about dinner? I thought we, I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. We had spaghetti a few days ago. I'm pretty sure. Do you know how to, do you know what you call a single strand of spaghetti? Oh, what? Spaghetto. I'm being oh. serious, by the way. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Gram I won't. Grammatically mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, I won't be going back there for a while and you might be in danger if you stay there too But I already was in danger just a little while ago Meet me at the restaurant the chicken kitchen on dead end drive Dead end drive. I, I don't know. That's pretty far This are you okay? Oh and one more thing bring the music box with you Okay, okay rips out entire stereo system <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, uh Uh, Fred. The music machine? That's a completely different game. I love music boxes. Is it present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. <laughs> you can't very well call it a music box then, can you? Well, just more like just box. <laughs> Just bring it, okay? It's kind of a big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Nick. Oh, you can do this Excuse one if you want. Me. Oh, shit. No! I can't go. Oh, I don't think no. I can go to them. That's how I can get to her. Like, you can literally go through the phone lines and talk to them. Darn. Now I've dropped the phone in there, too. How no. about if we tell you, her you did it, Missile? But I'm sure Hope Lynn's all right. <laughs> Better get going. I know where I know right where Dead End Drive is, but I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? You know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? You should know, actually, since he, uh... <laughs> It was this looking right at it. A 
Okay, this should help. <laughs> Come on, look! It's yeah, she has, a, she, has, she has a brain. This is it. The music box. Yippee! She had to do a dance for it for some reason. I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I hate for you to find you fighting underneath that wall when I came home. I wish she had something on her that would allow me to go with her. Because you can... <laughs> but for some reason, we can't do that with a box. What are you laughing for now? That's out of a joke. Of course. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away. No parking. Why can't I just say Cuban Missile Crisis? Why do you like saying that? Still no peace for the little lady. This the redhead... Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Every time I hear a missile, I immediately think of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh. And I like to think that Pomeranian's full name is Cuban M Missile Cuban Crisis. <laughs> Probably not. The redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Chapter 3, 8.04 p.m. We have until morning, I believe. If we don't do this when more, if we fail to do that, um, which we won't fail, this game has a, th I don't think you can fail this game or at least get a bad ending. But it says if you do, then you will cease. You're going to be ceasing to exist. Basically. I'm oh. not sure if there's a heaven or hell or whatever in this game. I don't think, but there is ghosts. <laughs> Once again, Lynn is in mm. danger, and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast. Let's talk to Dog. Let's see what he thinks. Or she? I can't. I think he. Oh, hello. What's up? I was just wondering if you could help me. I certainly, I'll certainly try. Uh, the only thing I'm really good at though is barking. There really isn't much else. I think he might be right there. I'm really, really good at barking. This thing comes around chasing after me with a broom. Then the next one kicks the wall. I got quite a bit of influence around these parts. Oh, hold on, I got an idea. That might be where this comes in place in play. Ew. I could be wrong though. So let's see. I'll knock this wall down. There's a phone on the other side, so I kind of figured this is what we're going to be doing. If you keep that racket up. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, you can do it. What kind of voice do you want oh, to plan okay. to do? Um, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. She's quite the thick lady. Did you hear it? I just heard. Be sick. You mean the lady next door's angry howl? 
Now, no, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's probably hoping to crush me underneath it. Oh, okay. Oh. Two things are certain. Create a path to get there somehow. <laughs> Should I keep barking? If you keep it up, I'll knock this wall down. If she's true to a word, we might blah blah blah. Come on. One, two, boop. Uh, what have you been playing that's... lately? Des Destiny 2. Ah. Let's see. Oh. Let me, I might have to try something else. There's something I can do with the, the lamp. lamp. I can't do anything with it. Only thing I could th this is the only thing I could think of. No, 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 that's wrong. I, I get it's the remote. I forgot you, the TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Unless it's is it? Yes, it yes, it's connectable. Really? <laughs> the pound is well open. What the heck? The do poor dog. Hopefully that didn't just kill it. I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. Mm. No, she didn't. Mm. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? More like she knocked you out through the not you through out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? I hope. You are. But the TV and the store ornament aren't. I'll never back again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute. Looks like other promotion was wasn't for naught. Huh? Hey. Your barking made her your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But well, the wall is still standing just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kind of paths. Trick time, baby. I'm glad he's okay. That's that's important to me. But now I don't have to go upwards. Now I can just do this. Ooh. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save follow them, right? My own powers. If it helps me along the way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to help Miss Camilla, too. We create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If you ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. Great, your best. Don't get hurt yourself, bud. How many times is he gonna do that? 
Also, no thought. Yeah, damn dude. Yeah. Your turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tonight is that holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need is to get some inspiration for the muses. Is this bottle and some cheese? Here is to the boorish paper next door. Is boorish just calling someone boring or is that something else? No, that's probably it. Up to date the phone book. Watch me as I clink my glass against seemingly nothing. Are you alright, my darling angel? They did not have to give her the lips on earth have you taken what? your medicine like a good girl they didn't have to what they didn't have to make her lips so damn thick like that man it's japanese what do you expect and, and thicker Wait, boobs this... apparently and big butt well here i am in yet another strange room what's with this oddly tense air of this place what the now, where's that little treasure I'm looking for? Oh, just so she has a daughter. Interesting telephone. There it is. The telephone. Now, if I could just borrow it. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hef hefting this puppy. More like a weapon than a book. Even now, Lynn's life is in danger. I've used that phone in fast. Can't very well make that woman bring it to me. Guess I'll have to find my what find a way over there myself. Oh hell ho. Let's see. I can't go that way, but and if I Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, as we cannot resist any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Rumination. Is that even a word? Is it? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. It is. That is a word, but I'm not sure if you used it right either. Mm, this is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Okay. But who knows what is an excellent word? Oh, hold on. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Oh. Let's see. I know I put it here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second. Not in, not leaving the stream. I just need to grab my water. Right, the holy moly. Why did she have to be so thick? Also, my head's not as bad as it was before, but I do need to make sure to go to sleep at a good time tonight. Yes, I have heard you say that is uh, very essential. Now, where could have gone to? I, I don't have any way to, to find it. I'm pretty sure the dictionary she wants is what exactly what I'm in right now. I also got to make sure I drink a good bit of water before Wednesday. I have uh, an appointment that day. Ooh. And blood work. 
so I'm not gonna be able to oh. eat anything uh, eat much during the night which is fine I don't tend to eat a lot at night anymore compared to before I try to wait or just not eat during until the next day now let's see where can I yeah okay yeah I don't need a lot of night either on account that I'm usually asleep oh no I must it must it but why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong, it overwhelms me. You know, I've always wondered. If you can be overwhelmed by something, can you be just plain whelmed? I feel like that's a joke that's been used a lot. There's a, I think it's either an anime or a, no, no, no. They made that, they made a reference to that in um, Young Justice. For some oh. reason. Not specifically this, but the word, the overwhelmed thing. You there? Yep. Oh crap. <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. It is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Okay, at least I got something figured out. Oh, is this how it works? Where is that dictionary? Was I too late? Oh, no, no. Okay, it, it kind of resets. I did do it at a, right, a good time, I guess. So what are we trying to do here? Not entirely sure, but I think I got an idea. These are all the characters we have so far. Me, the mystery. The replay. <laughs> the redhead target. The ray of light. The ray of this light. This is the, this is the nearsighted Diego. Oh. And this is the eyebrow villain. This is his henchman who for some reason after he um, presses a bunch of buttons, he just slaps it. Bam. And here's the other hitman. Oh. One step ahead, Tingu. His rivals with nearsighted Diego. Jago. Oh, okay. And then we got the little lady, Camilla. We got the valiant pet, Missile, and perfumed lady, who we don't know the name yet. I'm just going to skip through some of this because I think it's mostly oh. what you already have. Oh, never mind. Damn it. Not oh. do the Bolivian masses understand anyway. They certainly not our love. Hmm, what is the Prime Minister talking about? I never even heard the word plebeian before. That actually sounds... That doesn't make entirely make sense. She seems like she'd be a woman who uses the word. Because that's kind of something a lot of... Some rich folk use. Plebeian. Maybe in movies. Maybe. Oh, you already read that word. Sure. Okay, she's on the way, so. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. There it is. There we go. Oh, it's strange. 
I know I left the dictionary on the shelf. As if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Huh? What? What is that? Oops, my darling angel. Why does she need two tables? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a guess and say, even though she had, she tend, she kind of seems like an annoying lady. She actually is probably a care, more of a caring mother than she seems. She might not be that be that much of a bad person. Hmm. She, I think she might just be someone who has a is just trying to take care of her kid. Well, that's what her daughter looks like. She's cute. Oh, okay. Yo, yeah, was that freaking Luna Prez from freaking Mega Man Star Force 3 Black Ace? Why do you just say Mega Man Star Force 3? You could have just said Mega Man Star Force. <laughs> Mega Man Star Force? I recognize because those drill hairs anywhere. It's not her, but I understand the similarities. I I don't know, that's the only game I've seen her in. <laughs> I've seen her in the anime too. There's an anime, a Star Wars anime. Mm. It only goes up to the second game series though. Second game, oh. which sucks because the third ones are, I think there was supposed to be a fourth, but I'm not totally sure. How far into three did you get? I beat the game. So you know that, um, yeah, she freaking dies. No. But then we gotta scurry all over freaking town to like pick up her data pieces. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Spoilers, by the way. No, no. Uh, okay, yeah. Spoilers for those who don't know. In the future, <laughs> if I ever play it. But I have beat it too. Although more spoilers, it's kind of frustrating. It is definitely one of the more frustrating of the games, in my opinion, too. I do like the ability to change at any point, though. That's probably one of the best yeah. things about that one. Unless you're in water. Oh, yeah. You want to read? Oh, oh, right, right, of course. What is it, my darling angel? You can read this oh, one, too. This head is a... My head hurts, mama. You poor dear, no wonder. The fever of 102. Here is to a night of fever hotter than the love of my prime minister. I'm not sure if that's something you should say in front of a kid. Uh. It's almost time for I go out from my lesson. Can I take the night off? <laughs> yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't want to go and pretend I did. I go play with Camellia next door or something. Here is that blunt honesty of my darling angel. But she really loves doing them. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, uh, is it? The poor little set? Aren't we going uh, to celebrate together? Yeah, I'll celebrate all right. Celebrating his alimony. Let's not talk about your father, dear. <laughs> now, Mama has to get back to work. Oh, I have a deadline tonight to rule. Mama, wait. I have one thing to say. Don't try to put me in the middle, you two, okay? Did I just call it? What else could you be talking maybe. about? Oh, shit. Ah, no! That's what she said. Everything's falling.
Is it my alarm clock? I have an electric alarm clock instead of just my phone and stuff. I kind of figured it would help in the long run, but it's not perfect. Sorry, the clap of my ass cheeks is ruining everything. I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it's very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Okay. Why the hell does that think it's so real? I don't know. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep, especially sick little girls. So was I, I, I might have been wrong about some stuff. I think she really does love her daughter, but uh, there's definitely more to it. I hate you, mama. What? Why'd you do that then? You are quite I hate a you, mama. All you do is talk about... Talk about stuff and write novels about pecking prime ministers. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. I'm it sounds like their family <laughs> circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I, ha I had a family. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got to do now. Okay. Oh my, my lamp is out. What the hell? Okay. I mean, the parts are made of methane. I uh, guess, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's kind of a dangerous stunt in this set. Oh, I made a typo. Oh, I made a typo. <laughs> oh, she has some skills somehow. The one is right over there, but only I can get to it. Let's need to jump over there somehow. Let's keep my eyes open up for the right time to make the move. For some reason, Sissel reminds me so much of Wayne from Hylix. I don't know what you're... What is that? Oh, it's like a, an RPG with uh, ah. advanced uh, animations. Either very trippy forget, plot line, very up. trippy animations. I was looking into it. Or she forgot even wanted to look anything up in the first place. Is irregardless really a word? Yes, uh, it is a word, but it's a weird word. I don't it's use an it myself. Unnecessary word. Kind of. Because I mean, you can literally just say "regardless" in a sense. True. Unless you say "irregardless," then have a nice day. <laughs> okay, let's see. Excuse me for a moment. I'll be right back. All right. Uh oh. Oh, got it. There we go. Hello, is this, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of nights, of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change, uh, who needs to change his mind. Please put yourself in my position. You could write your novel just as well from home. I tell you, change your mind. Your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. Let me talk to Emily. Or then at least. Huh? You got what you need? Hello, I am back. Hello. How are you? I found a way to the thing. Hog, I, pos I, pos I possess the piece of paper. 
I didn't notice that, but when you do the light, she has a folds a piece of her paper, throws it. You gotta possess it before she throws it. Ooh. Or as she throws it. Crap. Crap, I never would have gotten that. Mm. You can yeah. you can continue with her line if you want. You can't talk to her. She's sick with the fever right now. I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now, I don't want to hear any more of your voice, friend, anymore tonight. Please, Please wait a moment. A minute. Sorry. It's okay. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Trace complete. Trace complete. Interesting. I don't know that's where I need to go, but I'll go there eventually, but pretty sure the junkyard is where I need to be. Not much time has passed since I was here last. The situation has changed. Oh, looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Oh, really? Hey! The guy in blue actually looks a little like, uh, Ace, like, um, a, uh, Phoenix, Phoenix right? right. Yeah. I can kind of see it. And besides them, a certain somebody else wriggly, wriggles and bounced happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? He says A a lot for some reason. <laughs> Where is Lynn? Where is Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> not what I meant to I'm do. Sorry. I did. I did not mean to do I'm that. sorry. It's okay. I just spur the moment. <laughs> she was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm, I better see what I can find out. <laughs> Straight time. You can do this one if you want. Okay. What thing of this case? Yeah, one of our own. Uh, A murderer. Heads roll. Heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even a rookie's like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She got some strong Inspector Cabanella of the special unit. Special You forgot to say unit. you forgot ties to. Hi. Wait. Oh yeah. It, she's got strong ties to. Got strong ties with Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. The SIU, I guess. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. You can do this one. <laughs> What's me? Uh -huh. Let's see. I could go to that <laughs> other guy's place, but I think I want to focus on this. Oh. Uh. 
anything, I can literally dress up as this guy. This all I guy? need are freaking, uh, yeah, all I need are freaking, uh, shades and the, uh, white shoes and red trousers. Uh, hmm. He says he's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Th there. Okay. I think we can safely assume that the cause of death was the bullet he chucked in his chest. Bring in the stretcher. I'll look in the rice packet to lab. Are you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Hold on. Always when I'm eating a snack, it's my character. I talk. Inspector Cabernet, a head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on its way now. Special Investigation Unit? Oh, that what was a case like this? I don't know, but Cabernet is our top investigator. You don't want to get him all bent out of shape or else, or there'll be hell to pay. That's the first time we've actually heard a, something akin to a swear in this game, to my knowledge. I don't sure that has to do with me. I don't really get what Captain Ellis wants to come for either. It's probably just a big log for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, what did you say behind his back? You never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Back to that joke again. What, what the hell? Oh, this guy oh, make, looks like a character back. from Master of... From Astro Boy. Go for it. Ah, uh, uh, the tension of the crime scene. Ooh, oh, yeah, nothing like a baby. Why do we have Elvis here? Or is it Michael Jackson that he's more like? Also, Dr. Tinma, I think. Good evening, boys. How's it looking? Dr. Cabanello, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine, fine. Just hold that thought. I'm going to make a little phone call first. So this is the head of the special investigation unit. He seems uh unique. Updated the phone book. Trick time. <clears throat> okay, so what can I do? It would have been so funny if you could move Sissel. Dr. Samantha. That was something we could that was something mentioned at first. Well, here he is. For his being a lark. Aren't you going to confront him about it? I'm going to make my report. Yeah, that's about what I figured. I can't do a trick right now. Wait, hold on. What? Graphic sign. <laughs> Graphic sign pops up. Hey, wait. There's an old thing under the trap. This junk car is supposed to not work. Then all of a sudden it all just pops up like a freaking metallic giant. Wow. Oh. Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going? You ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough. About fair to average. If I had to say, yeah, it's going all right. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Let me if I can put that other nice man on the horn now. Look at that, it's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes? Uh, hmm. Uh, if yeah. it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes?
Yeah, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. The other fellow just about threw me for a loop. The other fellow just about threw me for a loop. There we go. Thought I'm glad that something about the Guardian of the Park or some such. Yes, him. Sorry about that. I'll stop doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Trace complete. Trace complete. Now then, if I may make my report, sir. Oh, you who oh. Talking for me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, dog? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lin, sir, I just heard that let her take it. Let us help be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. Ah, uh, hold on. Crap. She's being... Ah. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super... Super officer? Super... What is that? Just beyond where you'd park your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect in. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Carry on, boys. Good luck, sir. I wonder why it's him that's actually that um is so. He just does it really quickly while the while the uh, green guy doesn't. Maybe one's really fastidious about their job. Oh, there's more Lex. <laughs> Where the fuck did that guy come from? It could also be based on the opinion of the person. The guy in green yeah. might not have much of a good opinion on the guy. Well, the guy in blue is a bit more okay i guess with it yeah i need to bounce in a bit my phone is getting running low uh, all right well either way thanks for having me i'll read this up oh that inspector cabinella he sure has a strange air about him all right then i hope you have a good rest of the night dude you too thanks for having me it was fun okay Really? Ending it like that. You can say that again. And I never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. So he's dancing his way up the stairs to promotion that same airy way. And I hear Lin is his personal favorite. <gasps> What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? Hmm. He's saying okay, uh, I'll have to do something else. I think we can pretty safely assume that this was the murder weapon. At least was the murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol. Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it is hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? So this is the weapon that took my life. Pistol, eh? 
My memory seems to be hazy on pistols, but I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see. This part right here is... Fool! I, if you want to fire that thing, aim it in your own direction. I, I didn't fire it. I'm the victim here. This is the act of someone who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. Bang. What was that? Uh, what was that? Is that what I think it was? That sound of a gun? I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first? The ringing of the phone or the crime cases? Um, if you say so. Ah, there you. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the dark come to sup the super's office, would you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green or blue one? Uh, I... Oh, uh... I'm the green one, sir. Listen, greenie. Get the good dark over here this instant. Or I'll see it to you. See it you never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir. I'll send them right up, sir. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. I'm gonna go there because I'm, I'm gonna see something. <laughs> Are you alright, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me. I beg your pardon, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, boy. Another strange room and another strange person. Wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. <laughs> okay, I'm just seeing what I can do here. I'll probably return back to the next spot. <laughs> Let's go to the park and see what's going on there. <clears throat> then I'll head back to the junk yard. Here's to be the entrance to a nearby de nearly deserted dimly lit park. The voices of two young people drift over me over to over to me on the breeze. Oh, it's these two. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. The rock of the gods. Uh, sorry. Could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a questionable person. No, I, uh... But uh, if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, all right, but, ju but just for a minute. There! I like your attitude! I like it very much! Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we! Oh man. <sighs> I 
I can't really do much right now, so. Let's go right to the super's office. And then once I get the chance, I'll save there. <clears throat> Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sounds give the the sound gives me the feeling of a new a new death be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one of the Reapers interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. <clears throat> All right. Chapter 4, 8.23 p.m. We are going quickly through this. I was kind of hoping if I got on earlier, I would have been able to do it. Probably finish this game within the the time I have. Had. <laughs> Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the house of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. No, 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 no. No, Lynn, hang in there, baby. It looks like some piece of trash shot around the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I can. Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate, and you spare. You superintend. You have your job, and I have mine. Let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, yeah, it's what I think. How much of a pro can be you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, uh, I'll stay out of your hair. Was that, was that necessary? Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Some of this blind, blinding pink notebook. Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase. <laughs> Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She's not breathing. I changed his voice again. I don't know why. Afraid I'm not a miracle worker. Only thing we can do now is curse the aim of one who shot her. Lynn, how could I let this happen to you? This must be a basement. There's that old man from before. I can't see very well in this darkness, but it looks like a pretty strange room. Never mind this. I better go see about Lynn. <laughs> Unconscious this time as well, eh? Well, where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? I excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. D dead So I'm dead, huh? Hmm, try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. You're starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. 
And apparently you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. What the fuck? The fuck? Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. <laughs> yeah, I certainly won't argue with the orange part. That your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right. Of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this. I guess it wouldn't have. <laughs> well, heinous isn't the right word. There you go. There. Now, this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. <laughs> Everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got something to ask you about. <laughs> Looking for the answers to the questions. Who am I? Why I was killed? <laughs> do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. Bring some kind of bell anyway. I think it was I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed, but I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Well, why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. N no way. <laughs> so I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys has just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go to die in the ju old junk nerd like this? Poor kid, the shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. And ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects. And about going back four minutes before a person's death. <laughs> this actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right, you don't remember? Um, yes, I think I do remember something like that happening vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. <laughs> so I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'd just have to wait until she recovers a little. <coughs> hey, I bet this is some kind of rec record, don't you think? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. So you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happen to meet tonight? No way, I don't think it was an accident. Why in the world would I be out of the out here, way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding me, you mean... Bingo, by you. I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you ask me to come out, come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying I don't remember. Girl, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hmm. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, you think you can try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to a person who's saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see, that's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, I really apologize. But I just can't die, not yet, not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. 
But I still want to solve that case in spite of all of it. That man alive. Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What do you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So you're ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? I'm going to probably... I, I think I can save during this, so... Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I know I could trust her. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Uh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Uh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Well, that's okay. Haha. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. to go back to the station for a minute though you would oh uh, i'm afraid i can't let you do that okay, i can't save now but i can save after <clears throat> inspector cavanella is on his way he'll be here any minute Evening, patrol man. Man. Good evening, Inspector Cavadella, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cavanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this? With my lens and crasses. I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute. Did you say just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never seen met that guy before. Hmm? Never, baby? Uh, well, uh, before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him here. He said he had an important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I take a look at the list of go cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you? Better than me, baby. Do you know if anything ever happened to you? I'll never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cavanella, I'm going to have to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! Seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cavanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's... Just give it a, tr a try. Our four minute game. <laughs> you know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? <laughs> Bungie says, with eyes gleaming, oh boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to jump weren't yard payphone, too. <coughs> I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. 
As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing's a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. After, in the next try. It's time for this episode of the Interdimensional Show Live. My name is Eric Theater the Infinite. Thank you for coming. I will see you all again on Wednesday. Do not worry, I will be here. Probably around the same time, maybe earlier in the day. Hopefully, I will have my sleep schedule figured out by then. I do have some thing, other things I want to talk about. I might play a bit of a game on Dolphin. Or continue this game. Or play something else entirely. I don't know. We will have to wait and see. Anyways, thank you for coming. I will see you all again. Wednesday. Bye, everyone.